welcome back to The Indefatigable. I'd like to introduce you again to Russell. Now, <clears throat> what we'd like to talk about today, or give a demonstration on, um, and is this not very long ago, um, Russell introduced me to this uh, method of actually um, completing Turk's heads um, on a board. Um, and th this way um, you can exceed anything you could do on your hand. Um, let me just give you a little example of that if you remember. Um, these are the different Turk's heads that you can actually do on your hand. After this one, which is a six lead, five bite, tremendously difficult, you need four hands. <clears throat> now this method that Russell actually introduced me to would produce things this type of um, size which would be something you can have uh, 50 if you like leads or 50 bytes on it it just depends on how big the board is now this one Russell did last year and that's the sort of thing that you can do with this knot you can actually cover a bottle or whatever you like it just depends on how big the board is and how much line you've got I haven't taken this off because unfortunately if I do the ceiling will fall down it, this is holding the, the, the ceiling up but that's the sort of thing absolutely unbelievable okay now that was the first board uh, that Russell actually made it for me down here um, introduced me into this method of um, Turks heads now used that a lot but then we decided we'd see if we could hone it down um, and make it that it was more uh, easier to use uh, uh, and a quite a pleasure actually uh, so in the end we actually uh, produced them right down to one two three four five bytes now five byte turk head uh, that would be that this one here pretty difficult to do on your hand however with this it's not a problem at all and if you wanted to increase above that to say to that size then you can actually just increase the board and have boards for different sizes but we have looked at we thought we may even modify this eventually that we can have this three dowels and a piece of board this long uh, which would make it to go up in increments of um, uneven numbers by the way I don't we don't know quite know the physics of this but these are odd numbers it'll do a three it'll do a five it'll do a seven and nine when you do it with even numbers we have problems it doesn't come out so what we've decided to do we will just leave that and stick on odd numbers so we always do odd numbers so this small board here uh, will actually uh, produce that Right, now the other thing was then, we decided is, you know, this is for covering bottles or whatever you like, you can cover anything with it. And we thought, well, can we make key rings out of it? What can we make? And we've done this for demonstration purposes. Um, what, what I did is sort of take, take in the knot and just drill through a piece of wood, a piece of cork or anything. But to get this barrel shape, so it doesn't sit flat. All I've used on that actually is a bit of kitchen roll and wrapped it round and then put electrician's tape or tape on it so I've actually domed that and then the knot goes onto it and then it holds it. The thing is with this knot it will not cover the sphere. If, you, if you're going to do a sphere like in some of our uh, past um, demonstrations it, you only need four bytes on here it's a four bytes but with with many leads and so it it won't do that but it will expand from that to the length of that if you wanted it and the other piece you can have it that big as well around something like a table lamp or something so we decided then that we'd use this method and we've made some quite successful successful little key rings on it really um, to, to make something of the knot but we leave that to your imagination to what you want to do with this now you can even go make the block smaller now what what I found was is on the original one and you'll see when I give you a demonstration now when you come out here 
because it's in line with them, it was a bit unruly and fell off easily off the edge. So what I did is when you cut the board out, I left this little piece here so the line was away um, because that's the end of it, which would pull out afterwards. And it didn't, I didn't sort of get it mixed up in, into it. What it looks like when I've completed the board, it looks like that. And basically what you would do then is take the dowels out and you slide your hand through there and that's the first turning of Turk's Head. You can then carry it on three or four times or what we've done here, if you want to at that point add, add a different colour into it, you can put a blue or a red or whatever colour you like and then you'll get a sort of multicolour um, Turk's Head on it. This by the way, needle is we, we made these on the boat here. Russell had a piece of, uh, we think it was brake pipe, if you know anybody works in a garage or something, or maybe gas fitters we thought of. Uh, and all we did, um, you know, it's in a coil anyway, so it had this natural curve. Uh, we just hammered it and shaped that. We just did it with a file. Um, and then of course, when we're using thicker lead, it wouldn't fit in here. And we found another little bit of brass pipe, but it doesn't have to be brass piece of um, plastic of plastic tubing uh, can go on then just adult it on just glue it on I, I this is glued on I tried to be clever and solder it on made a whole mess of it and at the end I just got some glue and put it on um, and then um, you can make yourself a needle on that if you haven't got uh, the facilities for that if you take the first two or three inches of your line and coat that in super glue and just leave it for 10 or 15 minutes, you'll find that is as hard as a needle. What I'd like to do now is just give you a slow demonstration of a can, and you'll have to bear with me because it's one of these things that um, you hope it's all going to go. This is a one, two, three, four, five. I've got a file and just put this because I always think when you go over there it stops this slipping so these grooves do come come in right now you start off and this is where this comes in handy now it's out of the way there it's not going to get into any trouble on here you start off here and you go around the first dowel here and just put it in the groove there. You come down the back to here and you go over this dial, over. Now this is the thing where I go wrong and I did go wrong, I couldn't, had to make something up in my head how I'm gonna stop making this mistake. You always, always go under this one. Always under the second one. This one, so the first, it comes down the first one it actually goes over the first piece. So that goes over, right? Now this one goes under. I'll try and do it as slow, okay? Then you go around the next dowel and you follow it across, come down the back. And you can see here that one went over. So on this one, you're going to go under and over. So it's under, try and keep this arm if it's out of the way for you if I can. And round the, round the dowel, across here. And it's starting to be basic like you were doing a Turk's head on your hand, where it's under and over, under and over. So we can see here now that this one went under, so this one will go over, so that goes over. And you can see it's starting to form now. It takes a bit of time to do this. I mean, I put it down and I can, you can get it, you know, a bit mixed up, but that's basically the princip principle is over and under. And always remember, it's under there. If you get that one under there, it, you, you pretty well won't make a mistake. So now, I'll turn it round and you can see they're coming down the back straight. Round again. Here is under. So this one will be over. 
So that's over, under and over. I'm trying to get my arm out of the way for you there. Right, and then round the dowel. Now, as we go across here, again, you can see this one went over, so it's under. So that's under. And under. So it's over and under, over and under. And the whole sequence of that has all depended on the fact that we went under there. But we'll come back to that one again in a minute when you just got the gist of it. Right, so we're going over. And we come back down here again. And we can see that one's over, so this one's going to be under. So it'll be under, over, under, and round the dowel. Right. You can actually see if you've made a mistake, because you'll find that the two are going, you know, that you find two laying at the same over, you know, then there's a mistake there. That's gone under. Under, so this one's going over and under. And, well, let's just do that so we can... Right, so we're going over and under. And we're going over and under there. And we'll just check now because you're getting close to it. If you go along, you'll, you'll see if you've got a, a mistake in it at all there. We go over. Again, now round the dowel, and we come back down now for the last time. This one's gone under, so that's over. Under, over, under, over, around the dowel. And it obviously that's over. Under, over, and under, and over. And that's it. Now, once you get used to it, I mean, I, you know, even this morning we got hold of these and we were like, oh, once you've got a, a gist of what's actually going on there, that is a super way of, of, of actually producing the Turk's head like that, when you think what you've got to do with it on your hands. Now, all we have to do now, at this stage, is just pull the dowels out. And you slide this. Now, oh, this is where this one is, comes in handy now, because that was the one we put down. You can now bring that out of there now and slide it off. And now you can put this on your hand and you've got the first lead of the Turk's head. And you can just keep reducing this down and it'll just all form in, just like you would if you'd completed it on your hand. So, let's see if we can get that down quickly. And there's, it's starting to come now already. There's your Turk's head. There's the first lead. Now, if you want to leave it that big, you can do if you were going to, you know, if you were covering something sort of of that diameter, or you can just keep reducing it down now until eventually you can actually fit it on that if you wanted to. Um, and you can see it now just falling into place. And we'll just tighten that one up again. And then I'll just go, I'll just go through the board with you. Then what what I made it of, and uh, what have you. That's it. Really good. 
And there we come. There's your Turk's head. Now to do that on your hand, and you can imagine how big some of them will be. These two now, all you have to do now is you just link these two up if you want to. There's this one, it's lying alongside that one, alongside it, and you just carry that on now as you would with the normal Turk's head and follow it round and round and round two or three times. Okay, remember odd numbers. They work, you can work it on even numbers, it never works out for us, we don't know what the maths of that is, but it seems better for us than if we only do it, uh, we'd stick to odd numbers, so you, you can do like a, this one is a five, uh, you, if, you know, I think that one's probably, what's that, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, look, thirteen, or maybe a nine, um, and if you're going to do just a three, then you can do a small, but this, this is seems to be the best uh, fit and easiest uh, to, to handle until you get used to it and then you can you can make it as big as you like. Um, normal dowels I think there's, it's about three quarters of an inch between them but th that's up to you how you design it. If, if you make the board and you don't put this little piece on I would cut a piece of wood and s a drill a hole in it and actually stick it on there because I I found without that on when they're on here when they didn't you've got nowhere this this piece here can actually it flops around and it can cause you a problem later but if I anchor it down in there now just see if we can get that through and then it's out of the way then it's quite thick line this we're using as well really, some, it's about f four mil I think. Right, so let's just, we'll just go through this once more for you now and hopefully you've got the gist of it. Okay, so we start off and we go along the bottom, that's the first move, round the dowel on the left, across and down the back. We go over this, over the dowel, round the dowel. Now this is the one here. If you go over that one, somewhere along here, it, it doesn't seem to throw the mistake out till you're up here. You must go under this one. And I keep saying to myself on this that um, you've got to remember, if you can remember that that one is always under that. So let's just start again, so and then I, I won't repeat it after this. Cross the bottom, round the dowel, over to the far corner. Down, it's gone down the back. I don't want to lift it too high because all the dowels fall out. Right, over the dowel, and there we go. It's got to be under that. If you can get it under that. And just follow the rules now, it should, it should just fall in for you now. And this is why I can leave this side of it now because we put that through there. When, when this, uh, without that hole, I found that was dangling around in the way. So, so now you can just go round the dowel. We go over. And it's, this one's gone over, so we're just doing the opposite now. That one's gone over, so this one's going under. So it goes under, over, round the dowel, this one's over, so we go under, round the dowel, up to the top, round the back, that one's gone under. So this one's going over that, under that, round the dowel. Over, so this one's under, under, over and under. 
round the dowel, over, down the back, that's gone over, this one's going to go under, over, under. Round the dowel, over, under, over and under. Round the dowel, over, under, over, under, over, round the dowel, and then this is the last, then you're going to go, we're just going to go across now, so that one was over there, so this is under. Bit time consuming this for demonstrations, but I think uh, once you get, once you've got the gist of it, right, and that's it complete. And what you can do now is just make sure before you pull it off. But it, it, once you get used to it, you can do these quite quickly. As you can see, they're all under, over, under, over, over, under. If there's any mistake, you'll see the two have gone over together there, or both under. And then it's just a matter then of pulling the dowels out. And then slide it. This, take this one out. And then sliding it off. And then you get to reducing it then. Um, That's your actual Turk's head. Just a matter now of closing it down, um, which you can do. You can uh, you can do it quite quickly, really. You can't make a mistake on it now because it'll uh, you just feed them round. They're all set. Let's see if I can pull this one in. We could do some music, couldn't we, when we're doing this? <laughs> That's it. Okay. It is coming in nicely now, and as you can see, these two are sitting with each other. So, when when you expand this on now, it's quite simply to follow that round. I'll just pull this down a little bit more. Um, Hope you can see that. Okay, is that is that going through the? Okay, so to, so they can see it. Yep. Okay, great. I'll just pull it down a little bit more, and then you've got the gist of it. Then. There we go. A tremendous uh, method of um, being able to, uh, I'd, I'd never heard of it before at all. And they, look at that now, there's your Turk's head now, there it is. Um, you can put it onto something now and reduce it. And if you notice the two leads, these two leads, if you've done it right, uh, they're running alongside each other here. So it is just a matter 
now, it's something a bit bigger than that obviously, uh, is to just follow this one along that lead all the time, just follow it along. If you want to, at this stage, you could introduce um, a different colour line now. Um, that This would be the time to put it in, if you like, between these two here, and you get, or you can actually, uh, you get that effect. So there's, you'd have two whites, would say a blue between. Um, here we've got um, two blues. So whatever colour you put in in here, introduce here now, that's how it'll come out like that. Um, and like I say, you can now, when you've got your something, you can reduce this now as tight as you like. Now you can go, um, can't make any mistakes on it now. This is, uh, it's all set. Let's see. Let's see if we can just tighten it just slightly for you. I usually use my tweezers for this. I haven't brought anything like that today. It's, but you just get your tweezers and don't pull it too hard. Just take your time reducing it down uh, to whatever you're, you're actually fitting it on. And there we are, we're back again now. And when, I won't go any further than that, but you can see now that there's the Turk's head on here. That's this one now. If you, I actually did this one on my hand uh, quite a few years ago, really, and it's quite difficult. In fact, it's very difficult. Um, but I introduced, uh, obviously, uh, another colour into that, and that's what you could do here now. The two things are like laying up together there. So that's it, I guess. Um, I'm sure that, uh, you know, like I say, if um, we started off with this and then we tried longer ones and we even used, um, I think these were rivets. Were they rivets we were using? We used yeah. pop rivets and we cut them off and put them in. But we found at the end of the day, the dowels seemed the best. Uh, maybe when you do the dowels as well, you may make the hole a little bit uh, so you put it in because sometimes, like I say, you can do this and it all drop out. But that to me, uh, that was uh, up to now as well and use the most five, always stay to what numbers and always remember that when you look at the video of this demonstration that is to go under that. Okay, well that's the demonstration over. Um, hopefully you will have learned something from that. Um, what, what we would like to do is, uh, at, a, at a later date, um, we'd like to, um, if we modify this in any way, in some of our other videos, um, which you can look at. If you'd like to look at our other videos, please go to liverpoolshipsandsailors.com uh, and go to demonstrations and you'll see the uh, videos we've made here down in the Albert Dock uh, on the boat. Um, hopefully you'll, you'll pick something out from it. Uh, where we uh, just like to share uh, this bit of knowledge we have with you. Um, so if we improve anything, we'll certainly let you know. Uh, so thanks very much. Thank you.